Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Let's do a solar ignition of pine needles this morning with my EDC wallet Fresnel lens. I don't know why everybody's not carrying one because you can't tell they're back there. Very inexpensive. It's about, I thought I heard some noise. It's, a, it's just a couple of dollars for one. Some places give them to you for free, like at Walmart at the Eye Center. So, this 10 o'clock sun is not the best sun to use, of course. 11, 12, 1 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock is a lot more intense. And this time of year, being in the winter, when the sun seems like it's farther away and sort of lower on the horizon, so it has more pollution to have to, for the photons to have to get through. But let me just show you, let's do one real time um, and show you how you can ignite pine needles. Now people tell me they don't have the patience to do this, to, to hold it, to build an ember, like the 15 minutes it would take to take these pine needles to, to flames. Tell you I have the patience. If it's a choice between going out in them woods and taking two and a half hours to come up with a bow drill set and all that hard work and 15 minutes to ignite these pine needles, I'll choose this solar ignition every time. If I can get my wallet for nail lens out of here. I'm gonna put the ridges towards the sun always. This needs to be compacted in your hand just as tight as you can get it. Right now they are stabbing me. Sometimes you can get away with just training that focal point on these pine needles and building a bigger and bigger ember for just two minutes. Other times it might take five minutes just to build enough ember for it to be self-staining enough to blow it into flames. Tyvee. Hopefully he'll jump up on the table. Always wear shades when doing solar experiments. You do not want to stare at that bright focal point for two, three, five minutes without having some good protective shades on. Now there should be a big enough amber in there now to blow it into flames, but I'm going to give it some more. You're looking for a depth of ember. And that is something that just takes time. All right. You see that steady stream of smoke coming off of there? It is ready to blow into flames. Wow, that stops smoking very quickly. Let's give it some more. Now I like to leave that focal point trained on there while I try to blow on it, which is kind of hard to do. I 
right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.